Okay, y'all, so this is a continuation. I had a distraction. This is the divine uh, masculine talking to the divine feminine, okay? So I got a little distraction after we talked about the twin flame journey. So this particular divine masculine probably did get distracted during your twin flame journey, and that's why you guys aren't on your twin flame journey together, okay? So this divine masculine... Um, yeah, he definitely went on a different path than you, Divine Feminine. He chose a different path because of whatever distracted him. And we, we all know that what that whatever is, okay? So these were the continuous cards that we had before the distraction. We were talking about the spiritual, the spiritual growth, okay, after he snuck away. Um, and he snuck away to be with the karmic, and the karmic got pregnant. Um, we are now talking about how it affected the Divine Feminine and the Divine Feminine's growth, okay? So, let's continue on. The Divine Masculine has a lot to say to the Divine Feminine. He says, pray for all the light workers and protection. So, this is definitely for Divine Feminine. You need to keep the other light workers like yourself in, in prayer, okay? A community of protection for everybody. I just want to take it nice and slow. So this Divine Master wants to take it, it, it nice and slow, okay? He wants to make passionate love to you, Divine Feminine. But you're on a twin flame journey solo. You are no longer on this twin flame journey with this Divine Masculine. You chose to go on this journey without him and in hopes to meet another Divine Masculine who, who had to go through um, his twin flame journey solo. Okay, but this will require self-love for you to continue on this journey. You must do, you must do and deal with self-love. So somebody's been avoiding giving themselves self-love, giving them that, that, that love and care they need. Somebody's been avoiding it for whatever reason, and it's time to not avoid that love. It's time to give that love to yourself. Because Spirit did warn you about this person. So Spirit did warn you, and that person took a lot of your love, time, and energy, and you have to fill that cup back up. You have to fill yourself back up what, what was taken from you and give yourself that and more. So fill yourself up with that self-love. All that love you're given, it's time to give it to yourself. Connect with yourself, okay? So give that love to yourself, connect with yourself, find out what your likes are, what your dislikes are. Go deeper within, okay? Find out who you are, your belief system, what you really want to do on your soul journey, what you're guided to do, any synchronicities, any deja vu. Go, go deeper within yourself. It can be overwhelming at times. I know the situation was overwhelming with your twin flame. The connection was overwhelming and getting out of the twin flame situation and um, disconnecting emotionally was overwhelming. And there's still going to be overwhelming situations ahead. But you got this. Don't get depressed. Don't get in a depressed state. It is okay to be sad. It is okay to cry. It is okay to want to hug. It is okay to want to cuddle. It is okay to listen to a song and have memories. Okay? It is okay to drink. It is okay to have whatever your choice is as long as it's healthy and, and you don't overdo it. It is your choice to not be depressed. Okay? And I know people say it's not a choice. It's a feeling and it's emotion. But you have to be active. Everybody has to be active to get out of this depressed state. That can be exercising, giving yourself self-love, giving yourself self-care, giving your pets and your animals love, giving your children love, whatever it is that keeps you out of depression, whatever it is that keeps you out of that sad, sunken place, okay? That's why you have to go within. You have to connect with yourself to see what you like, what you don't like, what makes you happy, what you're willing to tolerate, what you're not willing to tolerate, what makes you smile, what keeps you from getting depressed, what makes you depressed, what makes you sad, what makes you happy. You need to connect with yourself and figure that out so you can figure out your emotions to know how to handle your emotions, okay? Because we all get sad, we all get happy, we all, get, we all cry, we all get those emotions, but everyone handles those emotions differently. You're going to have to figure out, Divine Feminine, how to handle those emotions. And I know we all have our moments. 
but it's important that you control your emotions in time that they're too heightened and you become aware of your emotions, aware of your state of mind, aware of your, your consciousness. You must be aware, just like you're aware of your surroundings. Be aware of you. Be aware of yourself. Okay? Be aware of the things you need to do. Because that is important. Awareness of self is so important. Okay? Because it's time for you to manifest. Okay, and you're going to have to let go of certain energies in order to manifest. Because you can't manifest angry. I don't care what nobody say. You can't be in an angry state and try manifesting love. How are you going to manifest love and right now you're getting off a negative energy? Okay, so you, you need to let go of that negative energy. And I'm not saying let it go because it, it, it hurts you. It, it, you know, you need to feel whatever emotions you're going through, but you need to feel it, find a way to not let the emotions control you so you'll be able to manifest what is your birthright, okay? So, for the Divine Feminine, um, who is the High Priestess, this Divine Feminine is the High Priestess, so if you're wondering if you're the High Priestess, Yes, Divine Feminine, you are the high priestess. That's why self-love and care, that stuff is needed for you to manifest. Because you right now are in a place of emotions. And you're not manifesting at the capacity as you normally would or could. Okay? Um, what are some things that will help Divine Feminine on her journey on her solo journey. Since she's doing a solo journey, what is something that can help this divine feminine on her solo journey? Okay. Be more productive. Here we have be more productive again. This card keeps coming out. So divine feminine, um, we all have our days, we all have our moments, but it's time for you to be more productive. It'll help with your manifestation, but you must be more productive. It'll help get out of that depression. If you're more... Um, if you're more productive, extension of Christ. If you're thinking, if you're extension of Christ, consciousness, you are. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a devilish energy. Or your twin flame was in that devilish energy. And that's why you chose to go solo because you are not in that devilish energy. You also need to rest. So it says be more productive, but it also says to rest. So you are... Right now, you're not being productive, but right now, you're also not getting the amount of sleep that you should get. So, the time where you're not able to sleep, be more productive, okay? The time that you, like, I have nothing to do, I don't want to do nothing, go rest. Rest, okay? So, find times to be productive, find times to rest. Have a balance. Because right now, it's not a balance with your productivity and your rest. It's not balanced out. So, the universe is saying, you must balance that. Okay, Divine Feminine, you need to find that balance. And that should help, okay? We're going to take those cards, Divine Feminine. And then it says, Merry Christmas, baby. It should be treat me nice. So this particular Divine Feminine will meet somebody around Christmas time, Okay. You will meet somebody soon. That's why self-love, self-care is needed. So you be looking your best when you meet this person. And it's not all about looks, but you want to feel your best on the inside when you meet this person. Okay? Because beauty is on the inside and it protrudes without. Without. So somebody don't feel beautiful. That's why I said without. Somebody, and I know, again, we all have our days. But somebody's really feeling like, they're not feeling themselves on the inside. They're not feeling love. They're not feeling like they are chosen. They're not feeling like the most confident. They're not in a confident space. Okay? It says, I won't manipulate you this time. So this divine masculine is you trying to get in that com comfortable space, get in that confident place with yourself. He's trying to tell you, I ain't going to do this no more, baby. He's trying to come in and, and let you know that things will be different like he has before. And it worked where he says, I'm changing. I'm going to do better. And then you have faith and hope and he still does it. 
He's at that place where he wants to give it another time to see if one more time you will allow him to manipulate the situation. But he said he won't, which means he will. Once I had your heart, I knew I had your soul. So that's what this divine master has to say. So as you're going to go through your healing, he is going to keep um, talking to you, keep trying to get your heart, keep trying to do things to woo you over to win you over because he knows if he has your heart, he has your soul. And right now the divine master does not have your heart. Therefore, he does not have access to your soul and your energy. Do you get what I'm saying? He says, I'm not going to keep explaining myself. Divine master, ain't nobody tell you to get in my reading anyway. <laughs> so you ain't got to explain nothing to us or shit. It's a divine feminine reading. You keep popping up in the reading. That's what I'm saying. You keep popping up in all the divine feminine reading when she's trying to do her glow up. She's trying to glow. She's trying to level up. She's trying to evolve. She's trying to give herself self-love, self-care. You know, she's been doing a lot of self-reflecting. And you keep showing up in her reading right when she's ready to cut your ass off and separate from you energetically and emotionally. You keep popping up. Damn, you already said you want to stay in devilish energy. You already said that you want to continue to stay at a low vibration. You said that already. You've he, the divine master has kept divine feminine uh in in a, a a energy of not loving herself for long enough. Divine feminine is on her way to loving herself, and the divine master keeps uh keeps popping up and he says, Call me daddy. Divine Master, not only does he pop up, he's like, he wants control of the situation. He's like, no, call me daddy. Look, y'all. Um, he wants control of the situation. He says, call me daddy. I want control of this. I want to be in control. And you indecisive. You're like, shit, well, um, you kind of want to call him daddy. You kind of want to, you know, you don't want him to be in that devilish energy, but you want him. You get what I'm saying? You want the connection, but you don't want him in that energy, which is completely understandable. He is your twin. So I can understand why you would want, um, you know, you would want to, to keep some form of connection. You have to make that choice for yourself. And that's why it says you're indecisive, Divine Feminine. So you did this solo journey, but you're indecisive on whether you're going to take him back after he has changed. After he gets out of the devilish energy, you don't know whether you're willing to take him back or willing to let your guard down again. Again, which is completely understandable, Divine Feminine. So that's where Divine Feminine is at with this reading regarding the Divine Masculine, um, who could also be in their feminine energy right now. Um, what I want to do is I want to see if you guys could subscribe to my channel you can like, you can comment, um, uh, you can share, but definitely subscribe to my uh, to my channel where I post a uh, different different size, different things. Look, the high priestess popped up in this deck. Why is this the high priestess in this deck? So when you make your decision, divine feminine, you need to use your intuition. When you decide to make that decision to stay with the masculine or leave the divine masculine, I didn't say divine when I said stay. So if you choose to stay with the divine masculine, understand he is no longer a divine being. If you choose to stay with the divine masculine, understand that he fell from grace because of his decisions. So you have to use your intuition and figure out if you want to stay with the divine master after he fell from grace. Or if you want to go on with your life and live uh, a, a life of high vibration, of high frequency, and a connection to the universe and to your source energy, you you have to decide if, but it's like you have to make a decision. So this is for the Divine Feminine reading. Um, hope you make the best decision for your life. Um, but um, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Thanks.